What is this? Poem, poem. Why not a speaker? Oh. You can read.
the conception of worshipping Sri Guru is given in our understanding who is Sri Guru is given in the 11th canto of Sriman Bhagavatam by Pipala, who is one of the nine Navyogendras, the Navyogendras. And he gives one verse there to Maharaj Neni. Asma Guru Prapadita Jignashu Shreya Uttama Sabde Pare Chanishnatam Brahmanya Upasamshaya. So there he explains that first Tasma, therefore, because previously two other Navyogendras, his brothers, they gave so much information about what is the suffering of samsara, of karma, of birth and rebirth, of difficulties in this material world. So he's saying, Tasma, therefore, now understanding this, what you are, have to go through, what you are suffering in this material world, understanding this, Tasma Guru Papadyante, therefore you should accept the shelter of the lotus feet of a bona fide guru. And Jignashu Shreya Uttama. You should Jignashu, inquire about your Uttam. What is your ultimate good? What is the ultimate good in your life? What is the ultimate path and perfection for your life? This you should inquire. The qualities of such Sri Guru are as follows. Shabde Pare Chanishnatam. That Shabde, he understands Shabda Brahma, all of the Vedic literatures. He knows all the Vedic literatures that have been given, that have been written by Sri Vyasadeva. He understands their explanations. He can give commentary and siddhanta about them, and he can explain them completely. Shabde Pare, and he has realized them. It is not just that he is a scholar. Not that he is like a university scholar who has some Sanskrit degree and he can explain the meanings of the Sanskrit words by scholarship, but that he is pare, he is realized of Param Brahma, of the Supreme Brahman, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. And Brahmanya Upasamshaya, he is situated on the transcendental platform with this transcendental knowledge and is therefore not affected by the influence of the modes of material nature. He is not contaminated and he is never influenced to fall down from that position. He is always situated on the transcendental platform engaged in the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Sri Krishna. So this instruction is given there. Why must one go to such a personality? Srila Das Thakur writes, Sri Guru Charana Padma, Kevala Bhakati Sadma. That at the lotus feet uh, of the Sri Guru, the lotus feet of the Sri Guru are full of Sri. Sri means praying, uh, praying for Radha and Krishna. So, Sri Guru Charana Padma, these lotus feet are like Padma, like lotus flower. Why is that? Srila Bhagavan Maharaj explains that. In the lakes, there are these lotus flowers, padmas, and they are giving some pollen. The bees are collecting and they are making some honey. If you have any eye disease in Ayurveda, Padma Madhu will be placed upon your eyes and your vision will be restored. So, the tree Guru's feet are called Padma, lotus flower, because the nectar of praying, which is emanating from those lotus feet, can be smeared upon the eyes and one can get uh, transcendental visions. Divya Drishti. One will understand the transcendental knowledge of the Vedic literature. Prema Bhakti Jaha Hoite, Avidya Vinasya Jyote. All avidya will be destroyed. Vede Gai Jaha Charito. All of the Vedas are declaring this and broadcasting this wonderful knowledge about Sri Guru. That Chakshushtam, that his, your vision, your eyes will be completely cleansed of all material contamination and one will be able to get praying. Prema Bhakti Jaha Because the transcendental body of the pure devotee is emanating this praying. 
It is explained that the pure devotee, Srila Prabhupada explains in one purport, that although the spiritual master, the pure devotee, the Mahabharata, is living with inside this body, he is not connected to the material body. Just like a coconut, which has dried up off of the tree, when the coconut dries up, inside that nut is still inside, but it dries up and it rolls around, you can hear it, you can shake it. It's in there, but yet it is not connected. So he said, similarly, the spiritual master is living within this body. The pure devotee, the Mahabharata is living within this body, but yet he's not connected to this material world. He's completely transcendent to the material world. But by his mere presence, the body becomes Chinmaya Sarir, transcendentalized, transcendentally purified, transcendentalized, spiritualized. Therefore, we should understand that the body of the spiritual master is not like the body of any ordinary person. He does not take birth, he manifests. And he does not die, he disappears, he becomes unmanifest. His pastimes are eternal. He is manifest and he is unmanifest. And when he comes, he comes for only one purpose, to give this praying, this Shri, in order to save the fallen conditioned souls from the material contamination of this material world and to engage them in the eternal service of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. Without the mercy of the spiritual master, one can never get yasya prasada, barabhat prasada, yasya prasada, nagati katopi. You can never get Radha and Krishna without the mercy of the spiritual master. One who satisfies the spiritual master, the external manifestation of Godhead, one who satisfies his lotus feet, who gives all love and affection and devotion to his Guru Maharaj. That person, <clears throat> he will get everything and he will attain the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna and get their mercy. Thank you very much. something about Vyasa Puja. Last year, Sri Gurudev was telling, today is my Vyasa Puja. My Vyasa Puja has two meanings. My Vyasa Puja means, today I have to do Vyasa Puja by my own hand. Another meaning, my Vyasa Puja means, worship of myself, the disciple worship Sri Gurudev. So who is best? And if we not do best puja, what will harm for us? We have to know details all this thing. Chila Paramguru Dev, Nittalila Prashtun Vishnupa, Chila Bhakti Pradhyam, Kesavya Sai Maharaj, he has told in his own lecture, in his own article, published in Gauriya Patrika, he told, in this world, which knowledge you are carrying, it all comes from the best day. What we have seen, the discovery of science, of medical science, and other phys physics, chemistry, all are dated to Vasudev. Nowadays, this electronics, Jew, 
electronics age. But this electronics was as before also in Dapar Ju. When Silo Sukhdev Goswami was cast by Swami Grishi, sorry, uh, Parichit Maharaj cast by son of Swami Grishi, Singh Grishi. At that time, when was computer, when was internet, how all Indonesia and Rishis, they are assembled there in a few minutes, how they came, where the Concord airport was there, who internet, who sent email to them, even not only India, some came from Mongolia near China, some came from Russia, Caspian Sea, Kassab Sea, how they came there. So seeing all these things, one Western philosopher, Reverend Bishop Chow, India guided by God can lead the world back to sanity. Only India can lead the world, none can lead the world. Because which we have seen, the prosperity and progress of science is perishable, not permanent. So if all the world follow India, means India's philosophy, then they can uh, get to sanity, otherwise not. Once the Guru went for preaching, first time in Western country, when Sri Guru was in New Jersey, New York, about five or six one group came to ask Guru Dev, why you came from India? India is a poor country and they are living under poverty. How they can help to other very progressed countries like America? Then Guru Dev told, yes, it may be true, but I from birth, I know how to give. Maybe our minister or president can ask for you for begging. I never learned this from my birth. Then they asked, what you can give the world? Then Guru Dev told, nowadays the most problem is sound pollution. So if you think, then Guru Dev told, I am giving an example. If there is a pond and if there is a stone, what will be the result? Then Dev Dev told that some ripple will come and it will subside. Guru Dev told, no. Ripple will come one after another, or from bigger, smaller, and smaller. Although we cannot see our open eyes, but if you, should, if you look through machine, you can understand that all waves are coming and touching the, each and every corner of the pond, then some side. In the same way, which we are doing Harikatha or Nagu Kirtan, it waves will go all over the world and then subside sound pollution. Then he told, are you scientists? I am one of them all in that group. Guru Dev no, I am not a scientist, which I heard from my Guru Dev and which I realized by a bhajan, I told this. He told, without scientists, none can say this. Then Guru Dev are you scientists? Then he began to laugh, he told, he not, I am only scientist, all six we are scientists. Then Guru Dev told, what is your identification? He told, I was disciple of Sri Bhaktan Sami Maharaj and took sannas from Guru Dev Maharaj, his name was of Madhav Puri Sam, yeah, Madhav Puri. Then he told that we have heard about you, so he came to test you. So then he told, I am giving an example. We travel all over the world and recorded so many sounds. And then he played the laboratory. So in laboratory, any, any kind of sound, it makes sound pollution higher. When we play the kirtan, then sound pollution going down. They told, oh, you can preach all over the world very easily and very fast, that can check you. So, you can see, even what science cannot do, even other millennium cannot do, by another Sankirtan, by Sankirtan you can do that. So, Srila Sankirtan was told that there is so many process of the two bhajan, but among them, what is the best? So, Krishna Sanana, Vida Kirtanesu, Tannama Sankirtan, you all will come. Although there are so many process, but best is Hariram Sankirtan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told also, Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. So by that we can get Prema Bhakti only by Sankirtan. Because it is mentioned by, because it is mentioned by Srila Bhakti, Srila Bhakti Sarkhapu Prabhupada also. Kirtan Prabhavya Smaran Bhaiwe Sekala Nirjan Bhajana Sambha. If you do Kirtan, then your mind will be fixed, then you can do Nirjan Bhajan, do Bhajan being alone. alone. And you have heard from Sipa Kuchale uh, Sangrani Didi. He was telling from the viewpoint of geometry about bass. When you make, uh, draw a circle, so if any line touch the both end of the circle, touching the center point, then it called diameter. So, who is the diameter? Sadhguru is diameter. 
the who is in center point and who are one end is material world, another is spiritual world. Who can make connection? They call Sadhguru. And his puja is called Vyas Puja. Vyas that was Saktavya Savadar of Bhagavan. But nowadays, we are spreading his message. And being his representative, give the world, Haridam Sankirtan and Pure Bhakti. They are the incarnation of Vyas Dev. They are puja called Vyas Puja. Although, all over India, the appearance they are Vyas Dev, they observe Vyas Puja, but in speciality of Gauri Sampradaya, they observe Vyas Puja that day also, and the Vyas Puja, in the appearance, they are, they are own Guru Dev. So both they are, in both they are profitable. And here, part of Sri Puja Sarani Didi, that he gave an analogy of Arunyan Uttavar Upavanyan Dhamma. So what they receive? They receive only Atma Gyan, not more than that. Their destination not going beyond Vaikuntha. And who is our Rupanga Guru Varga? What they are doing? They are giving us Krishna Sitamar, Krishna Vijay Varga, Tomara Sakati Ache, Amitra Kangal, Krishna Krishna Bali Dhai Dava Pache Pache. Krishna is their eternal asset. And they can give this asset to others. But in previous millennia, which we have heard from different speakers, they cannot give this destination going beyond Vaikuntha. We have seen our line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Lodhubha Sanipad, Sir Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So they mentioned by Sri Kavi Karnapur, Priya Sarupe, Daita Sarupe, and by Sri Narakam Thakur, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sthapitan Jana Bhutale. What two questions are we giving? He giving Rupanuga Marga. By that one can attend the service of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Divine Kapil sometime. Although we are seeing, Buddha is sitting like among us and he is, he is doing all activity like ourselves, but he is not at all. Like we are sitting here and we may think different, different things. None can understand, see our face, what we are doing. In the same way, what Guru Vargas, Rupana Guru Vargas, being in this world, what they are doing? Nikunja Juno Ratikele Siddhai Ya Jalibi Yukti Rapiak Saniya Tatra Tidaksa Gatiballa Vatsa Bande Guru Sri Charanara Vindam They are always making conspiracy or making some discussion how to bring Rajanandana Samsundar from the camp of Chandravali and they are meeting of Radha Kapurani This is their main duty Although they are being here they are helping us same time they are doing service of Sichitana Mahaprabhu and Divine Kapu, same time being our, among us. So in Pranam of Gurudev, he mentioned that Radhika Yui Priyatmane, he is near and dear to Srimati Radhika. And today, Puja Bhav, Puja Bhav, uh, was doing Kirtan and uh, praying his uh, Lotus Pira Gurudev that Juga Acharya Prabhu Mande, Narayana Karuna Alayam, Radha Dasyala Bhandatwa, Tarayati Bhavanatrayam. That means, Juga Acharya Guru Dev Bhavans in Vrajamandal Parikrama, he is reawarded by Juga Acharya, Acharya Millennium, one Samasthavan company of Delhi and who is Guru of Varsana Temple, Deepak Bhatta. All the combinedly give this title to Sila Guru Dev. So someone composed this law, Juga Acharya Prabhupada Bande. I put on the lotus feet of Juga Acharya, who is Narayana Karnalayam, he is the abode of Marshi. And what he is giving in this world, Radha Sila Bandhatva, whoever listening, whoever serving, they can achieve the greed for mad servants of Radhika. And by this he is Tarayati Bhavanatayam, he is levered in the three, uh, three world. We have seen nowadays, even in Gaudiya Sampradaya, they hesitate to give this thing to public mass. But Srila so Gurudev, what is dealing who is qualified, they can achieve this. Who is not qualified, they will not achieve this Radha So, like Krishna Sankaraj Goswami told, I want to give this don donation to everyone, but I am fearing who can get this. But not all, I have no problem now. Because who is qualified, they can get the man mango blossom, but all, all not. In the same way, Gurudev has this idea, who is getting for his, from his Gurudev and from his realization, that who is donating the male servant of Srimati Radhika or Bhavala Swati Manjari Bhav, who is qualified, they can achieve another kind of achievement.
achieve that. So if someone serves the Guru Dev, and Guru Dev told the Guru Puja is the backbone of Bhakti, if someone wants to attend Bhakti and do Guru Puja and follow the Guru Dev, what they will gain? Like Guru Dev is serving Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Divhat Kapu same time. So under guidance of Guru Dev and the uh, I mean, by the control of Guru Vasai Pad can serve Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and under guidance of Guru Dev. And under guidance of Guru Banjari, Guru Goswami and Guru Banjari, they can serve Divine Kaplan Chaitanya at the same time. So, we ever want to follow Sri Guru Dev and listen to his lecture, they can understand. But what purpose do they come down in this world from spiritual guide and they can make their life fulfilled? Hare Krishna.
So you are my Raghunath Das. You are my Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur. Yatraiva Ganga Manana Virajam Arya Majetu Nimi Nimadranoka. Krishna tells the gopis that he'll take them across Manasi Ganga with all their yoga and butter in his broken down old boat. So they had no other choice. They thought the boat looked a little bit unsafe. But then halfway across, he said, don't worry, come, it'll be safe. But halfway across, you con Krishna conjured up a big ferocious storm and the and the boat was about to capsize, and all the gopis are terrified. And Krishna's laughing and says, well, you better throw all of your pots overboard. Still, the boat's not safe. So then Krishna says, all right, now your ornaments, absolutely everything that you can dispense with has to be thrown overboard, even their bangles and earrings. And poor Srimati Radhika, she got so scared that she just jumped in his Krishna's arms for shelter. So how that Krishna, he tricked Srimati Radhika into getting his, her embrace. Oh, Khan, well, Kandari, you are no less than him. You're just like that Krishna. You invite all these poor, helpless, innocent people to come in your boat. I will take you across the Bab Sagara. Don't worry, everyone. Come, Prabhu, come. There's a space for you here. Mataji, come. I will provide everything you need. You don't have to worry for anything. Baby, come. Come. Here, there's a place for you. So then you say, don't worry, this is a safe boat. Then, when we get away from the shore and it's too far to go back, you start rocking the boat. And then you sit there laughing, smiling at everyone and say, all right, it looks like it's getting a little dangerous. You've got to throw all your excess baggage overboard. What? Yes. Get rid of all those inartas, all that calm, crow, low, not sorry. Give up all your attachments, wife, children, pair, old parents, your sweet dog, your beautiful gardens, your beautiful homes, your important jobs, your position in society. You've just got to dump it all. Well, what can we do? You know, there we are. We're helpless. We're way out in the middle. We have no choice. So we're forced to give up these things and jump into your arms for protection. Otherwise, what will happen? So just like that Krishna, you trick us also. So you also, Sakshat Darhik Samastra Shastriya. You are my Vishwanath Charpavati Thakur. You are my Bhakti Vinod Thakur, giving us Vinodara. The conception of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, which flows continuously and cannot be checked by anyone. Now it is coming through you, Vinod, giving pleasure to Sri Yuga, as in Bhakti Vinod, Vinod Brahmachari, Vinod Manjari. This is our family business, giving pleasure, pleasure to Sri Yuga. So you now are carrying on this Bhakti Vinod, it's definitely flowing through you. And you're establishing all around the world, Radha Vinod Bihari. You're not, you're not just giving that blackish rake Sham who cavorts with millions of girls. No, not that beautiful Radha Shoma Sundar that Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada established up the road at Krishna Balaram Mandir, who's there with Lalita and Vishaka. No, Lalita and Vishaka are not even allowed in the presence of Radha Vinod Bihari. We're talking about that Rajendra Nanda, who has, got, has forgotten all those other girls and he's lost in the deepest embrace of his Daita. That Rajendra Nanda who's fully covered with Srimati Radhika's Ankanti in the height of Amara's fulfillment. I remember quite some years ago you gave a wonderful class in Matuda from Chaitanya Charitamrita explaining what is the meaning of Kanti, Srimati Radhika's Kanti, that Shoba, that beautiful glow on the face of Srimati Radhika, she becomes so full and satisfied after her meeting with Sri Krishna. So this is Radhika Nodi Hari. When Radhika, Srimati Radhika embraces Krishna in such a way that every part of his body is covered, someone will say, all right, I will embrace you. So let's say we're holding hands. 
palm of my hand is being covered by, by you, but the back side of my hand is still not covered. So Krishna is saying to Srimati Radhika, Oh Priya, please, I want you to cover me completely with your embrace. Can you do that? So she says, yes, but this is completely impossible. But Srimati Radhika, she's able to please him, and she's able to give that full, complete embrace. This is Radha Vinod Bihari, and this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the, this Radha, um, when Mahaprabhu revealed himself to Rai Ramananda. This is the Radha and Krishna that he revealed. It is Radha Vinod Bihari. And this is the concept that you're spreading all over the world. Now, now Radha Vinod Bihari is living in the houses of so many devotees all over the world. And this is it's the very purest, highest concept of love that you're giving to the whole world now. Wholesale. It's so inconceivable. So you are, are my Vishnu Trakrati Thakur. You are my my Rai Ramananda. You are my Bhakti Vinod. And this is the actual message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the message that now you're substantiating for posterity, dedicating yourself to leaving such a to leaving a great literary legacy to the whole world. Fairly recently you were discussing Madhurya Kadambini and you explained the meaning of Megamala. That a Megamala is the a cloud bank that comes in and pours its rain down on the on the desert, refreshing the dried up cheese. You said that Megamala is actually a garland of all the Goswami's writings. So now there's a new Megamala on the horizon. All of your books that you're writing for the whole world. And, and in this way, your, your books, they're just flowing from your fingertips now. Your books, they're released for the cool, refreshing rains of the amorous um, Adi Ras that's flowing down from Galop Vraj now, extinguishing the fire of material dust in our hearts in which we've been burning up for millions and millions of births, and this is what you're giving to the world now. Years ago, you also remember you told us that Sanatana Goswami, he's the sagar, the full ocean of all Bhagavad Tattva, all the truths about Sri Bhagavan and Bhakti. And at the same time, you told us that Rupa Goswami is the rasa kup, the deep well of rasa, of loving exchanges of Krishna with the Brajabhasis. So you are also that Rasaku. You are my Rupa Goswami. You are my Madhavendra Puri. Your message is the very essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. That cure that was enjoyed by Chirashara Gopinath, that, Ma, that Ma, Gopinath himself personally gave to Madhavendra Puri, sent him that very cure that came, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tasted when he came through Ramuna on his way to Jagannath Puri that then came through Bhakti Manoj Thakur. And now you're also that very same here. You're giving us, this is what's coming in all of your books that you're so um, dedicated to producing for the benefit of all humanity now. This is the nectar of your writings. This is the honey for the starving ears of the whole world. Your books are just ever fresh and fully alive. Chaitanya filled with the living force of divine love. And how, this is the current of bhakti flowing now, so how there could ever be any question about your position in our Gaudiya line, how anyone can ever question your greatness and, and your sincerity and your position in the power of all. I also want to say, it is your Hari Kata, your Rasi Kata, all of your books, all the sound vibration that's coming out of you now, that's keeping the whole world afloat. The whole world, you're purifying the ethers. The ethers, they're constantly polluted by Madhavaraj was saying, the, the sound vibration, the lying of the lawyers, the butchers killing the animals every day all over the planet, all the lawyers that are, are cheating the world, all the big corporate, corporate directors, that are they're lining their pockets and exploiting the, the resources of the universe for the, of the world for their own own fulfillment, their own enjoyment. The whole world would be sinking under this, but your vibration is keeping everything alive. And even these most gross and sinful people are benefited benefited by your presence and your vibration.
Haribo. They will speak louder, we are back. Oh, we are back. Good way. I just want to give a brief message to all the devotees all over the world who are watching and hearing this wonderful festival. Yeah, so many of you have tried to call and have written beautiful Pushpanjali offerings for the pleasure of Srila Gurudev. I wanted to uh, offer my apologies that we cannot accommodate all your beautiful offerings today, but certainly I will make sure that Srila Gurudev hears all of them. And as far as phone calls, any other day we will try to accommodate your phone calls. Thank you, Krishna. Guruve Mukum Karo Diva Chalam Pangum Nangate Gilim Yakripa Pramaham Vande Sri Guru Dimitar Pancha Kalpati Vyascha Kripa Shendru Vyacha So first of all, chant for my licenses. Millions of times, Lord is fit as you would do it. On Vishnu Bhat, Sri Sivan Bhakti, and I am no Swami Maharaj. So Sri Narayan does talk all Sri Nandi Sanyasis, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis. Sri Narayan does talk over his head. Chakunan de Lodje, Janme Janme, Prabhu say, birth after birth, that he is our master. Not only in this birth, but there was never a time when all of us in this room were not disciples of Srila Gurudev. There was never a time in the future that we will not be with him. So I am praying at his lotus feet that wherever we may go, in whatever situation we find ourselves, that he can always keep us very close to him, then our life will be successful. Srila Gurudev is coming back in just a couple of minutes, so we're continuing with our program. We'll have a, a short kirtan for Srila Gurudev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So Sri Gurudev has ordered me to speak something on Vyasa Puja, but I am not qualified. But by mercy of Gurudev, even a dumb person become a very good speaker, a lame man can cross mountains. So I was thinking today, why we have come here? What we have come to achieve on Vyasa Puja? Gurudev one time said, we have not come to Gurudev for any material thing. We have not come here to Gurudev for cloth or to fill our stomachs or to get some donations or anything like that. We have come here for the pleasure of Sri Gurudev and Sri Gauranga. And Gurudev is here accepting all our offerings on behalf and for the pleasure of his Guru and Gauranga. Therefore, this is such a pure system that we should take some examples from history how we should not serve Gurudev. I was just thinking, there was one very famous disciple in the Mahabharata. Actually, most people think he's very good idea of Guru Bhakti. His name was Ekalavya. He approached Sri Dronacharya to take instructions on weaponry. But actually, he was a demon because he wanted to learn how to fight so he could kill Krishna and Arjuna. Therefore, Dronacharya rejected him. I will not teach you. You are from a low family. But this was just an excuse. There were Ekalavya. He went to the forest and he made a murti of Gurudev Sri Dronacharya and began worshipping it very intensely. Some days after the Pandavas were coming with their dog, and the dog, I won't sing like a dog again, the dog smelled Dronacharya and he came barking, and when he opened his mouth, then Ekalavya filled the mouth of the dog with so many arrows, the dog could not close his mouth, but no blood came. So when the dog came to Arjuna, then Arjuna could see this person who has filled the mouth of the dog with arrows, he is superior even to me. This gave Arjuna great pain because his Guru Drona Acharya had promised him, you will be the best archer. Therefore Sri Drona Acharya, he went there and met with Ekalavya who fell on the feet of Sri Drona Acharya. Who has taught you archery? O oh, Gurudev, your grace, I have learned archery. Then you should give me some dakshin, donation. What donation do you want? Then I like Dronacharya said, I want your right thumb. Give that as donation. And Ekalavya, without thinking, he cut off his thumb and gave us donation to Ekalavya. Dronacharya. So everyone thinks this is great Guru Bhakti. <laughs> Even there's one Guru in Iskand who called his disciple Ekalavya. But actually Ekalavya was a demon because he was thinking, this is my thumb and I'm giving this as a donation to Srila Gurudev. But Srila Gurudev says if Dronacharya had asked Arjuna, give me your thumb, then Arjuna would have said, Gurudev, this thumb is yours, this hand is yours, I am yours. So, understand the difference between Ekalavya and Sri Arjuna. Therefore, this idea goes very deep, especially in our Gaudiya Sampradaya. Even though it said Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took two main things from each Sampradaya, from the Sampradaya of Sri Ramanuja Tari, he took the idea especially of Guru Seva and Vaishnav Seva. But even the Sampradaya of Sri Ramanuja Charya cannot equal to the Guru Seva performed by our Goswamis in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Kuresh gave his eyes to his Guru. Do we see the type of Guru Seva that Sri Raghunath Goswami performed for Sri Rupa Goswami? Is it even a more higher class than that performed of Kuresh towards his Guru, Sri Ramanuja Chai? In his first verse of Sri Vilap Kusmanjali, Sri Raghunath Goswami prays, Twam Rupa Manjari Pratane Puresmin Umsam Purasya Varane Nani Pratati. He said, O oh Gurudev, O oh Sri Rupa Manjari, you are very famous as being a most chaste woman in the whole of Brajamanda, but it seems that your lips have been marked by some excellent parrot. How is this possible? 
So hearing that, see Rupa, Ma Rupa, Ma Rupa Goswami, he smiled. Just see the intimacy between Sri Rabbanath Goswami and Sri Rupa Goswami. Sri Rupa Goswami is, we have heard, Priya Sarupe, Daita Sarupe, Prema Sarupe, Sahajana Rupe, Nijana Rupe, Prabhuaka Rupe, Tadana Rupe, Swabala Sarupe. Sri Rupa Manjari or Sri Rupa Goswami have no separateness from Sri Madhi Radhika or Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, Prabhuaka Rupe. Sri Rupa Goswami is considered to be the second form. Actually, Sri Dhammara is called the second form of Mahaprabhu. The Rupa Goswami is called not second form, he's the same form. Prabhu Eka Rupa. He is so one, oneness with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in body, mind and words, he's considered no different than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in every way. Therefore, all Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's moods could be understood by only Sri Rupa Goswami. In the same way, and Sri Raghunath Goswami is so tadatmic, so one-pointed towards his Guru Dev, then he could understand completely the heart of Sri Rupa Goswami. Therefore, today we have come to become like that with someone like Sri Guru Dev. So you can imagine such a high goal. Actually, we have no power to do that. What power we have to understand Sri Guru Dev? Some people say, I am not qualified for initiation. Guru Mahaj says, of course. And no one takes initiation. Initiation is always given. What quality does the iron have to become one with fire? The iron has no qualities at all. Only the fire by its mercy empowers the iron with all his qualities. So in the same way we are hoping, I am hoping especially, I cannot be like, I don't end up like Ekalavya, giving my thumb to Gurudev but keeping myself for myself. If I really hope that today Gurudev can give that benediction to that time when we never see ourselves as separate from Srila Gurudev. That we should become so dear to Gurudev that Gurudev will also not consider us to be a separate person. So if we can surrender like that by the grace of Srila Gurudev, then where's the question of not achieving perfection in bhajan? And all Gurudev's bhajan will appear in our hearts automatically. So I pray that we are so much unqualified, but Gurudev by his grace, he can accept us as his own. Tumara Karuna Sab. There was never was a time when we were not disciples of Gurudev. This birth, past births, or future births, there was never a time when we did not completely belong to Him. Gurudev says when we chant our mantra, we should chant with the idea, I completely belong to Guru, completely belong to Gauranga, and completely belong to Sirada and Krishna. Therefore we have, this is our natural position to be completely surrendered to Gurudev. But our only problem in our life comes when we put obstacles in the path of that complete natural oneness with Sri Gurudev. Of course, I have not realized anything, but I am praying in India, in the West, when it's your birthday, people give you presents. But in Indian culture, when it's your birthday, then you have to give other people presents. So I am praying Gurudev, <laughs> he can give me that present that I can never feel any difference between Gurudev. When that day will come and I think this body is Gurudev's, my soul is Gurudev's, my wealth, my everything is, belongs to him. If I can get that blessing from Gurudev on his Vyasa Puja, then that's perfectly alright with me. <laughs> Gurudev, thank you.